A St. Paul Islamic Center is asking for help after it has been repeatedly vandalized over the last several weeks. The Council on American Islamic Relations has stepped in to condemn what has happened and ask the community for help and also to lead a broader discussion on hate. Here's Sharon. At a place of community, at a place of worship, this is an unwelcome sight. I don't know how they in because I am the only person who have the key. Somehow they open for the inside and they vandalize the whole building. It happened in June, again on August 24th, then again the day after. Darul Ulum director Osman Igal says he's calling it what it is, a hate crime. They answered more than at least five times or six times last two weeks or three weeks. They broken at least four times our cars for the windows. So the hate crime, that is the reason I'm using for the hate crime. Are you worried about your safety and the safety of the folks who come to the Islamic Center? Yes, I'm worried. If something happened one time, you may say everything happened one time, but the one one happened yesterday or before yesterday or before yesterday is what you worry. I'm the leader for the community. So people, when they come here, I have to worry. That's my responsibility. This is why the Council on American Islamic Relations of Minnesota stepped in. This is the epicenter. This is where we come when we uh, meet our friends. This is where we come to congregate for prayer. And this is kind of like, this is our community center. Mohammed Ibrahim, the deputy director of CARE Minnesota, says attacks like this on places of worship have been happening for a long time. We've been seeing incidents like this happen since 2016. Uh, we, we have seen, you know, a, a, a mosque that was bombed. Recently, we had another imam that was actually at physically assaulted as well in Bloomington. And these are designed to, you know, cause us to waver or cause us to be intimidated. Tensions are high for literally everybody right now. How is CARE preparing for the next few weeks? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is to, to, uh, to empower folks, right? To empower folks with information to get to the polls, right? To empower folks to understand that not only that they have this right that they get to enjoy that a lot of people might not have uh, to use their voice to go ahead and shape their future by voting today. Even after all of this, the prevailing message that is coming out of the Islamic Center is peace. Yes, they have asked their neighbors to be vigilant, but they say that they are moving forward with courage and compassion. In the meantime, they have set up a GoFundMe page to help with the damages. Jana. And that good fund me, there's a reason for that. As Sharon mentioned, the Council on American Islamic Relations say the damages to that building from the vandalism will cost more than $20,000 to repair. All right, still ahead.